I start from the math, easy, so we're going to discuss, well, something not really math related, but this is pretty useful anyways, basically I'm going to explain what dental plaque is, dental cavities, and also, more importantly, basically show you when the best time to brush your teeth is. Basically, I, I had a couple cavities a while ago, and I thought I brushed my teeth well, and when I went to the dentist, I learned a lot about what I was doing wrong here, and I'll, I'll explain first, well, let's just discuss dental plaque first. Well, from uh, Wikipedia's definition of dental plaque, just a biofilm, usually pale yellow, that develops naturally on the teeth. Like any biofilm, a dental plaque is formed by colonizing bacteria trying to attach itself to the smooth surface well, of a tooth in this case. So basically, uh, what it is, if you have if your teeth, let's say this is a tooth, uh, this may not look like a tooth properly, but anyways, imagine that's a tooth. So yeah, your plaque is just that yellow stuff around it. It usually develops like this around your smooth surfaces. And this is the dental plaque. And now I'm going to discuss how it actually develops here and how to get rid of it. Well, before I discuss further, just the question is, why does bl plaque even develop on your teeth? Well, it ha another source from Wikipedia, it has been speculated that the plaque forms part of the defensive systems of the host of your body from helping prevent from colonization or basically attachment of other microorganisms that are pathogenic or basically disease, that cause a disease. So, although plaque is, is bad to have on your teeth, but it, it apparently it, it might be preventing like more serious microorganisms from, from attaching to your teeth. Okay, so no, now the question arises, why do we have to brush our teeth? Why doesn't the human body just get rid of it by itself? Well, the problem is uh, the oral cavity, uh, it contains basically either the only known and a monocle, or basically, uh, of the human body aspect that does not have a regulated system of shedding surfaces. Uh, in this case, your the teeth doesn't shed this plaque like how your skin sheds sheds the outer layers of the skin to get rid of uh, a lot of bacteria and stuff. But then the problem with this one, this one doesn't, so we have to brush it off ourselves. Now the question arises: basically, how does dental plaque build up? And this, well, this one. Microorganisms, which is the dental plaque, well, they need nutrients to develop and grow, and its main source of nutrients or food is saliva, just your regular saliva. And regular food you eat is also a source of food for dental plaque. So as you can see, it builds up from saliva and food that you eat. And now before I discuss when to brush, well, we have to basically learn a bit more about saliva and dental plaque compared to each other. Basically, saliva, it's, it's dynamic in a sense that it's thicker and slower developing when you're not talking or not drinking water or not breathing heavily i.e. Uh, not playing sports in this case or for example when you are sleeping or working at a computer for several hours without talking to someone this is when your saliva is slower and and thicker so then when it's at its thickest usually when you're sleeping basically the dental plaque has plenty of nutrients to grow and the biofilm which is the dental plaque is usually really thick around your teeth and now to discuss uh, dental cavities, is basically what I had a, a while ago. Basically, it, the definition is it's just do tooth decay. You could see more a complex definition on Wikipedia, but I just don't want to add that it doesn't really serve any more uh, purpose to this uh, this video. But basically, uh, it's just tooth decay. It just breaks down on the teeth, and it's caused by foods with high sugar content. I.e., Coca Cola is, is not food, but it, it's a drink. But anyways, uh, that in conjunction with dental plaque, based dental plaque uses food, sugar as nutrients, and the buildup leaves the teeth vulnerable to, to, de uh, yeah, to decay. And basically, symptoms include, well, the sensitive teeth to, sensitive teeth to heat, cold, or sweet food, foods and drinks. Basically, uh, before I would, my teeth would hurt when I would drink really cold water, and that's got part of the cavities uh, that I had from this. And now let's, uh, I'm going to explain when to brush your teeth. Okay, so now uh, basically when do you have to brush your teeth here? And uh, the problem I was doing here I'll show you in a bit. But basically the purpose of brushing your teeth is to remove the plaque. And so you the, so from the above I showed basically you have to brush whenever the dental plaque has built up. And it's usually in the morning after you wake up before you eat food. This is the problem I did. I used to brush my teeth after I ate breakfast because I thought uh, that's what be, would be best. But this is actually worse because... Uh, if, if you brush it after, then the, the f bacteria has already had a chance to attack teeth because it grows on the food. You know, because the food helps the, the dental plaque to grow, and so then, bef then that time during, uh, like after you eat and before you brush, it, it, has a, it has a couple hours or however long it takes before you brush your teeth to build up and basically attack your teeth. And, and also develop inside your teeth where you, you'll need to floss. Basically... Yeah, so that's one one uh, time, and then also after several hours of not talking, i.e. working on your computer, 
before you eat. So if you were working on a computer for a couple hours or studying or, or whatnot and you haven't talked to anyone, your saliva slows down, your dental plaque has built up further. So you should brush before you eat. Otherwise, that plaque will grow even further on your teeth and will, help, will decay and you'll have some cavities. And also before you go to sleep, less important than, than the above two, just because dental plaque ha hasn't grown as much and the food usually... Yeah, you usually already been broken down and ate, ate but but then even then uh, when you, before you go to sleep you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, food already on your teeth and then the dental plaque will d grow while you're sleeping and then it'll and then it'll combine with that and basically decay your teeth. And now to conclude this video, let's just I'm gonna just go through some more uh, recommendations. Basically, you should floss at least once a day before you go to sleep. Basically, flossing helps remove food plaque in hard to reach places where your toothbrush can't. And it's important to floss after eating a big meal where food will get stuck in between your teeth. Let's say you ate some chicken or something or, and you can feel in your teeth it's important to floss just so the plaque doesn't build up and then it will basically decay your teeth. Especially when you're sleeping it's, it's important because when you're sleeping it, your uh, dental plaque grows the largest and if you had some uh, food between your teeth then it's a bigger, better uh, chance of decay. And also uh, avoid high sugar foods and drinks, i.e. Coke, Cola, Pepsi, especially when plaque has built up, depending on whatever you were doing that day. If you were working on a computer for a couple hours and you drank some Coke without brushing your teeth, then that is the best time for plaque to basically build up and and decay your teeth. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned about this, uh, yeah, this random tutorial on this. Not really math related, but uh, it's nonetheless pretty useful. Now you can download these notes like always on the Dropbox link below. Hopefully you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution.